Medasse. Good morning, Mr. Frimpong. I'm Jonah Sari. And depending on how this meeting goes, I may or may not be defending you in your upcoming trial. Any questions so far? You're very beautiful, Joan. That's not a question. Are you offended I called you beautiful? <sighs> Mr. Frimpong, I'm here to possibly save your neck from murder. Not to provide images for your spank bank. So once again, do you have any relevant questions? Feisty too, huh? No further questions. Good. Because I have one. Did you do it? Did you kill Ayele Anan? Hey babe, hey babe. Did you miss me? Miss me, miss me. <laughs> Look, <clears throat> so I already told those clowns that... That was them. This is me. And I'm your lawyer, and I need to know the truth if I'm to build a strong defense for you. So once again, did you kill your girlfriend? She was not my girlfriend. So what was she to you then? More like a... Uh, <clears throat> casual acquaintance. Did you sleep with her? A few times, yes. How many times is a few, Mr. Friend? I don't know, Joan. I lost count. Do you, do you keep count? <laughs> Mr. Frimbaum, I don't think you actually understand the magnitude of the trouble that you're in. You are being charged for drugging, raping, and strangling your girl. Our queen tennis. Mr. Frimbaum, I'm going to ask you this one more time. Did you do it? If I tell you, I'll have to kill you. Your track record is less than ideal. It says here that when you were in primary six, your headmistress's office caught fire when she had you under punishment. Ah, yes. She got fired. Literally. And then in secondary school, your housemaster was suspended after you accused him of inappropriate touching. That one couldn't keep his hands to himself. Mr. Frimpong, what do you think your track record says about you? That's surrounded by bad people. It tells myself and any jury that you have gotten away with far too much. Ooh, what have I now? Huh? While looking at your record, you have the making of a sociopath. And listening to you, you have a talent for fancy words. Do you know what's going on out there? The media is roasting you. They are portraying you as yet another entitled millennial. Do you know what the public hates more than a millennial? Wait, let me think. Ah, ECG. Huh? A murderer. A murderer. A murderer. The fact that your acquaintance is a fairly public figure doesn't help your case very much. She's the victim. The innocent. The public believe you corrupted, raped, and killed her. You have no alibi, no witnesses, and there is enough evidence to bury you. Everyone, Mr. Frimpong, and I mean everyone, is ready to dance on your grave. And here you are. Indeed. I ask the questions, not you. Why? Why do I ask the questions? Oh, why do you want to defend me? Because I feel sorry for you. <laughs> Excuse me? The alleged victim is the daughter of a very famous preacher, which makes this case a very high-profile case. High-profile case equates public interest. Public interest equates... Fame? No. Crucifixion. But yeah, I guess you're right. Fame does play a part in the equation. In fact, you become very famous 
news about you everywhere. You're pretty much the Trotsky hot topic right about now. And your scandalous pictures, now those are trending. And the public court of 140 characters has already declared your verdict. Hashtag guilty. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> now I'm sitting here famous, okay? In 2015, Ghana, right? No sex tape, no mixtape. And you are here feeling sorry for me? Why? Because as smug as you are sitting here, the truth is, you have no voice. It's you against the people. And unfortunately, they are being fed one side of the story, which is absolutely pointless. Because if today, a judge was supposed to acquit you, it wouldn't matter. Do you know why? Because the people never will. <laughs> I mean, I feel sorry for you. Because what passes as an investigation in the system nowadays is laughable. And without a good defense, you might as well throw due process out the window because you are fucked. <sighs> Chris, I feel sorry for you. Because you are sitting here pretending as if you don't give a shit. Masking the fact that you don't have the balls to put up a fight. That even makes me wonder. Did you do it? Hmm? I think you already know the answer to that. I want to hear you say it in your own words. Did you kill her? No. I did not kill her, really.